guys, welcome to the vlog, and you guessed it, this video is going to be all about my new lens. Yes, um, I did get a new lens, and I'm already falling in love with it. I forget what the, what the name is, but it's one of the, it's a Canon zoom lens, um, and it has, uh, 55 to, it's 55 to 22 millimeters, millimeters, um, so, you can do that, and that, um, although the aperture is only 4 to 5.6. So, um, and it's the IS, it, I mean, it has image stabilization, image stabilization. Um, it is not the STM version, um, but to me, it's completely fine. So, I'll give you guys another kind of, kind of an overview of the lens. So, on this lens, of course, the, the lens cap is a little bit different than the other one I have. That, that Canon lens cap, this Canon lens cap, they're a little bit different. So, the zoom. Is, goes from 55, which is the maximum on this lens I have. The lens I have on my camera right now is a kit lens. And this one goes all the way up to 250. So that's 250 right there. So as you can see, you can actually look at the, the, the middle of it. It goes like that, and you can see it kind of expand. Um, and then this ring right here is the focus. It has the focus engine in it. One of the, fo the focus engine it has in this is the older one. And this is the older version. The newer ones are like couple hundred dollars this one I only got for about 90 bucks so it was a really good deal in my opinion for what it is and it can focus really far so it has a focus engine of course this does have manual and auto focus it has image sta stabilization so I mean I'm using this mostly mostly for image pictures so um, that's about all I need it for it's not too bad um, the only one of the bigger parts I wish they would have made better is it's plastic right there um, the mount to the camera is plastic. I wish it was metal. If that was metal, that would be that would be great. Um, so of course, this camera, this lens, this camera just does have a filter on it right now, and I'm not going to take it off just because I like to have my camera gear well protected. So on here, you've got the this um, it's like a UV lens, which is really just a protection lens. Lens, um, and among the other lenses you can put on it, you can put little filter lenses. Um, I have two right here. And then what else? You can put some other stuff on it too. You can put a hood. I actually have a hood in my backpack. Let me get it out real quick. Here's one of the hoods I have for it. Um, I just bought this recently. And this hood, um, it just screws on right on the top of it. Just like that. It pops out. It, has, it says it has three settings. There's one. That's one setting. Um, that's another setting. And then it's like a middle setting, which is a little bit more difficult to get to. That's the middle setting right there. So that's the middle setting, small setting, big setting. I've like I've loved this lens so far. Um, I'm gonna. Sh I guess I mean there's not really much else to say about the lens besides that it is plastic and it's heavier than the lens I have on here right now. I would not recommend. Um, picking up the camera by the lens. Like with this lens, I, I mean, it's so small and everything, I feel like I can actually pick it up by it. With this lens, it gets a little longer, especially when it's extended. I would never pick it up by this. I'll pick it up the, uh, at, by the actual body just because I don't want to risk the middle breaking since it does have that plastic middle piece right there. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to go take some more pictures with this lens. Um, and, and yeah, so I, I, I guess that's... So what we're going to do now, we're going to go take some pictures. So again, this one I have on the camera, 18 to 55. So it's at 18 right now. This is the 55. So it goes to 55. This one starts out at 55. So the 55, so this one start, just starts out at 55. Um, and it goes to 250, I think. Yeah, 250. So I'm going to go take some pictures with this. Um, of course, it's not, this lens right here is not the best for indoor and low light settings. Um, the aperture, it, I mean, it depends. You just have to make, make sure the aperture is set right. But if it, it's, you know, the more light, the better. That's that's what's pretty much the same. The more light, the better. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take some pictures, and I'll end the vlog after that. Just now. 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 Now.
So as you could see, a lot of those pictures that I took and videos that I took were pretty decent, at least to me, for the price I paid 90 bucks, it, it was such a good deal. Um, I mean, I can zoom in on subjects so far away. There was a couple pictures I took, I don't know if I include in this video or not, but I took near my house where I was shoot, I was pi taking pictures into another neighborhood of cars driving away, and I was sh p taking a picture of them, I couldn't, couldn't even see their license plate, but then I looked at that looked at it in the um, camera after I took it I zoomed in and I could read their license plate which was insane um, I, I just never imagined being able to do that so that, that's awesome um, the only I mean another bad thing about it is when you video record the autofocus is loud so you will hear that fo that motor running but that's not any, that's not, not anything that really you know for, for the price and for all I get I think it's more than what I deserve with this um, the image quality is all the way zoomed in is great um, for the price again I mean I know there are better lenses out there and these are more like kit lenses but I, I just love the lens so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this video helped you pick, pick out a lens I would, rec I would definitely recommend this to someone um, if you if you're just like if you don't have like it's a budget lens this is this is a budget lens this is not a professional lens or anything this is a kit budget lens so if you don't have much money I got it used so I would definitely recommend getting it used there's no point in getting it new in my opinion especially if it's this old you might as well just get it used um, and I mean as long as it's in good condition I got it used on Amazon for about 90 bucks I really hope that this video helped you pick and picking out a good budget lens but for now thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it click on the annotations for more videos that I've done my name is Lucas and I'll see you next time